Welcome back to Cali X Boxing 2.0. Like, sub, hit those alerts. Kazuto Ioka versus Joshua Franco 2 coming up this weekend. Love this fight. Love this rematch. It's a rematch of a much disputed draw that happened New Year's Eve out in Japan. Many boxing people, myself included, felt Josh Franco did enough to win that fight. But we ended up getting a majority draw with Joshua Franco keeping the belts. And here we are again, six months later. These are two talented fighters in a talent-rich division, one of the deepest and most talented divisions in boxing at 115. One of the things that surprised me in the first fight was how often Josh Franco was able to get off combination punches before Kazuto Ioka countered him. And for that reason, I scored the fight for him because he landed, in my opinion, the majority of the meaningful shots throughout the fight. Josh Franco hasn't lost a fight now in five years, has tough draws against Ioka, Negrete, um, wins against Andrew Maloney. He's battle-tested. As is Ioka. His only loss in the past eight years was against Nani Nietes, and he avenged that loss last year. When we look at the landscape of this division, we have old legends in Gallo Estrada, Chocolatito, Sorung Vise on their way out. So there will be a vacuum for the younger guys out there to fill in the division. Guys such as Ioka, Franco, Junto Nakatani, Fernando Martinez. In my humble opinion, Junto Nakatani is the most talented of this bunch coming up. But Ioka and Josh Franco will have a chance to prove me wrong. Starting with this Saturday in Japan. I'm high on both of these fighters, but look, I'm going to trust what I saw on New Year's Eve in the first battle between these two guys. And yes, Ioka could certainly make adjustments, but I just felt like Josh Franco was a sharper fighter, landing the crisper and more effective punches. And I expect him to do the same thing in this fight and edge out a very game Ioka in a close match.